What's up everybody? My name is Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. For the past 16 years, I've been making websites. A lot has changed over the years, but one thing has it, and that is people asking the question, how much does it cost? Now at Wiki Design, we do try to keep things as uncomplicated as possible, but the truth is the cost of your website will greatly depend on what you need, what functionality you're looking for, the design that you want, Things like that really take into effect of how much it's going to cost. Long story short, it's complicated. Nowadays, there are so many different options for you to build your dream website. Seriously, you all have so many great options. Back in the day when I first started, the only option for a website was to learn HTML. I mean, CSS didn't even exist when I started making websites. Wow, I feel old. With so many different options, there comes a lot of confusion about what you're getting for your money, how much things really cost, and what to do. So I decided to do some research on four popular website building platforms to really find out how much it truly costs to get a website in 2021. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the true cost to get your dream website. Hopefully, because this took a lot of time. Now, there are so many different website platforms available to choose from, but if I talked about all of them, this video would be like three hours. So I'm only gonna focus on four, and that is Squarespace, Wix, Showit, and WordPress. I'll be breaking down the cost to DIY your website yourself on these platforms, as well as the cost to hire a designer. Now, obviously prices vary on a lot of different factors, so make sure you do your research before you hire an agency, purchase a template, do anything like that because you don't wanna get burned. This video also assumes that you're starting everything from scratch. So you don't have an existing website, you don't have a blog, you don't even have a domain name. You're starting from brand new. So it's really the cost to get everything up and running. Okay, let's get started. First up is Squarespace. Squarespace offers tons of different templates that are easy to customize through their drag and drop builder. They offer a ton of different beautiful designs and e-commerce, blogging, and portfolio capabilities for a pretty good price. At the lowest end, Squarespace will cost you around $12 a month. Now, if you need advanced e-commerce functionality, that's gonna run about $40 a month. With all of their plans, they include a free custom domain name for a year, free SSL certificates, and free Squarespace extensions. If you want advanced features like e-commerce integration, different marketing capabilities, or the ability to customize your site using CSS or JavaScript, you will have to bump up to one of their higher tier plans, which will run you about at least $18 a month. Another nice thing about the higher tier plans is that they include a free Google Workspace account. So you'll get a custom email address like info at your domain.com. So you don't have to use Google or Gmail for your email. That's a really great added bonus. Squarespace also claims to have award-winning customer support, which is really great because no matter how easy they claim it to be, you will run into problems, especially if it's the first time you're ever building a website. So it's nice to have support and resources available to walk you through it. If you're looking to DIY your website and just need something really basic, Squarespace will give it to you for $150 a year. Not bad, but you can't do anything customized and you don't have all the functionality of those higher tier plans. Now let's be real. If you're serious about starting a business, you're going to want something really unique and $150 for a website is probably not going to cut it. That's where things like premium templates or hiring a Squarespace web designer will come in. Now, you can purchase templates all over the internet. I've seen some as low as $25 and some as high as $700. Now, I'm assuming those $700 give you more customizations, but it is still a template, so it's not a completely custom website. You do run the risk of having a website that looks like a lot of other websites. If you're not interested in DIYing your website, there are plenty of Squarespace designers that you can hire. Squarespace actually has a whole list of designers right on their website. They'll give you more information and the ability to contact the designer directly. Pretty cool. The rates of these designers vary greatly, but you can expect to pay around three to $5,000 for a custom Squarespace website. 
Because Squarespace is a closed platform, meaning that you have to do everything within Squarespace, there are limitations to what you can do, even if you hire a professional to design the site for you. For example, if you want to sell products on your Squarespace website, the only options for payment gateway are Stripe and PayPal. Now, those are great options, but they do have their own transaction fees. So every time a transaction goes through your website, they take a cut. Those transaction fees are pretty standard, but if you do find something that is cheaper, you can't use it because it doesn't work with Squarespace. So that is something to keep in mind if you plan on selling a lot of products because those fees do add up. Overall, I think Squarespace is a really good platform and gives you a lot for the money. But if you're looking for more custom functionality, it might not be the best platform for you. Next up, we have Wix. Wix is similar to Squarespace, as in they have that drag and drop builder that you can use and have about 800 templates that you can choose from to design your website. The Wix pricing structure is a lot more complicated. They have their website plans, which start at $14 and go all the way up to $39 per month. They also have business and e-commerce plans to start at $23 a month and go up to enterprise. Yikes. Included in all of their plans is a free domain name and a free SSL certificate. E-commerce plans do come with abandoned cart recovery and they offer subscription services, which is something that Squarespace didn't mention on their website. While those things are all good benefits, there's a lot that I really don't like about the Wix pricing structure. The first thing that I don't like is that they limit your storage space. So that means that if you want to expand your business online in the future, you have to worry about that. You have to worry about the amount of products and pages that you're adding because you don't want to hit that storage limit. They also have limits on the amount of video that you can stream. So if you plan on using video on your website, that's definitely something to take into consideration. They also limit their e-commerce features depending on the plan that you choose and only offer VIP support to people that pay for the top tier memberships. That's something that Squarespace didn't do. Now, they do have some resources on the Wix website if you need help, but it wasn't nearly as robust as what Squarespace offered. If you go the DIY route, Wix will get you there for around $170 a year, but just like Squarespace, you'll be limited in functionality and features because it is a closed platform. And because they have that storage limit, you really are limited to how big your site can grow. Just like Squarespace, you can find premium Wix templates for sale at a lot of different places. I found them for sale for as low as $25 and as high as $500. Wix also offers a marketplace full of Wix specialists, and you can hire those people for pretty cheap. Their rates were generally cheaper than what I saw on Squarespace, even as low as $97 for an entire website. But you definitely get what you pay for, and I was not impressed with what I saw. Next up, we have Show It. Show It's been around for a little while, but I feel like it's gained more traction recently. And that's for good reason. It's a really powerful builder and Show It websites look really nice. The Show It editor lets you do pretty much whatever you want. So you can create some really cool designs without having to know code at all. And another really cool feature of Show It is that it integrates with WordPress. So you can have a WordPress blog on your site and use all of WordPress's blogging and plugging capabilities, but design the pages through the Show It platform. That's a really cool feature and unlike anything that I've seen out there. Show It is the most expensive builder that I've talked about so far. Their lowest tier plan is $19 a month and that doesn't include a blog. If you want a blog with unlimited users and the ability to install WordPress plugins, that's gonna run you $34 a month. Some cons that I see with Show It are that they limit the web storage space to 20 gigs a month, no matter what plan you're on. Another con I see is that they limit the amount of blog visits you can receive every month. If you are blogging a lot and you want to grow your business with a blog, I can't recommend Show It because of this reason it gets really expensive really quickly. They also don't include the free domain name for a year like the other services, but domain names are pretty cheap. You can get them at GoDaddy for around 10 to $15 a year, so that's not a huge expense. 
Another downfall I see with Show It are their e-commerce capabilities. Now, I actually had to research the site to see if they even offered e-commerce, and they do, but it's through third-party plugins. Now, those plugins, you have to then pay for a separate subscription in order to use them. So that's another added cost on top of Show It, plus you're paying for those additional transaction fees. It gets really expensive. Just like the other two platforms, Show It does offer documentation on their website if you have a question. And they do offer a messaging service that you can use between the hours of 3 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And they say that they respond to those questions you sent within a few hours. Show It offers a lot of really beautiful templates for you to choose from. Honestly, I think they're some of the best design templates out there. Even the free ones look really nice. Now their premium templates are a bit on the pricey side, some of them over a thousand dollars, but you do have the ability to customize everything pretty easily, so I guess it's worth it. I guess. Like the other website platforms, Show It has a list of vetted designers on their website that you can go through and contact to build you a completely customized website. Expect to pay at least $4,000 for that on top of what you pay for Show It. And remember, the more traffic your website gets, the higher price that monthly charge is going to be. Last up, we have WordPress. Now, I say WordPress for last because it is the most confusing. But 39% of the internet runs on WordPress, so it's been around for a while and it's really well used. 39% is a lot of people. If you go to WordPress.com, you'll see that they have different plans available, just like the other platforms that I mentioned, starting at $4 a month and going up to $45 a month. But there's a better way. If you go to WordPress.org, you can download and install the WordPress framework for free. Now, all you need to do to get this to work is purchase a domain name from a place like GoDaddy or Namecheap, and then purchase website hosting. Now, the price of hosting greatly varies depending on what you get, but I find that for decent hosting, it costs a lot less than what you would pay for any of these other platforms that I've mentioned, and you do get more. You will need to install that framework that you downloaded onto a WordPress server. They do have a five minute install, but a lot of hosting companies offer this service for you, so you won't even have to do anything. Once you have everything set up, you're free to do whatever you want to your website. WordPress is a completely open source platform, so you're not stuck in a box like a closed platform system. You can do whatever you want. Another really great feature of WordPress is that you can take your website and move it if you choose to do so. So if you find a better rate for hosting or need to upgrade to something better because you're getting more traffic and your business is growing, you have the ability to do that. You own your website completely. Like the other platforms that I've mentioned, WordPress offers both free and premium themes that you can use to get your website up and running. Now the cost of the premium themes really varies depending on the features and stuff that they offer. You can spend as little as $25 and as high as into the thousands. It really depends and varies on the functionality. But there's tons of services available and tons of themes available for you to download. Millions of people specialize in WordPress web design, so finding someone to build you that dream website won't be a problem. And if you need a designer, I know someone. Now, you might be thinking, I heard WordPress is really hard to use. I want something easy. I don't want to know how to code. I want drag and drop, just like the other platforms. That's where a page builder comes in. WordPress page builders give you that same drag and drop functionality that the other platforms have, but you still have the open source capabilities of WordPress. The page builder that we use for our designs is Elementor, and we've made tons of videos on that. If you're interested in learning more, I will link to a playlist down below. WordPress offers really robust e-commerce solutions as well. Through their WooCommerce extension, you can set up a simple online store or even take it a step further and offer subscriptions, memberships, or even online learning solutions. 
The possibilities really are endless with WordPress and because of that, it can be really hard to determine how much a WordPress website design will cost you. But if you go the DIY route, let me try to break it down for you as best as possible. To purchase a domain name at a place like GoDaddy, it's around $12 a year. For decent WordPress web hosting, it's about $6 a month or $72 for the year. And if you want to get that page builder functionality, you can purchase Elementor Pro for $49 a year. So all in, you're looking at around $133. If you don't want to go the DIY route and want to hire a designer, the price will vary greatly. There are, like I said, millions of people that specialize in WordPress. And since it is an open source platform, every designer does things a little bit different. Some designers will not let you make updates to your website yourself, while other designers like us will hand over the website to the client and let them make as many updates as they want. Now, going this route could mean a higher upfront cost, but down the road, making those small changes and updates yourself can save you a lot of money. Expect to spend around five to $7,000 for a high quality custom WordPress website. Now this cost is higher than some of the other platforms, but you have absolutely no limitations to what you can do. So down the road, you can easily expand upon your website, whereas some of the other platforms that are closed, you might not be able to do what you want. What I find happens a lot is that people will start off on one of the other platforms, and then as their business grows, they need added functionality that isn't available on those platforms, so they end up having to rebuild their entire website on WordPress. It's really important to take into consideration what you want your website to do, if not now, but in the future. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations, because that was a long one. But I hope it cleared up some of the differences between the different website builders that are available and the costs associated with building a website in 2021. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. See you next time.